it's okay. It's not okay though, it's not. Um, this judgment that is happening to Hollywood, it is getting ready to take down every superstar. Want to know about the real devil? P. Diddy. We've all known him as a rapper, producer, and record executive for his own label. Bad Boy Records started in 1993. Very successful all around, but he's no stranger to trouble. Diddy has done all the nasty from substances to people. Royal members to Grammy winning celebrities. You'll find all A-list celebrity names in court trials against P. Diddy. Insane, right? The trouble during his success was nothing short than the troubles he went through as a child. Melvin Combs, Diddy's father, was murdered on the streets of Harlem when the rapper was just two years old. And the murder was never solved, or more likely, never investigated, so you can only imagine how that shaped the whole life of Diddy. Now back to his feud with the celebs. What happened with P. Diddy and Nicki Minaj? Let's be honest, we've all been dying to know. This has been the tea of Hollywood and Nicki has finally decided to break her silence and spit facts just like she's been spitting bars. Before jumping into conclusions, let's briefly discuss how the beef started. Diddy and Nicki Minaj's feud has been building for months, as fans has been left in suspense by cryptic tweets, subdued hints, and industry rumors. Buckle up because today we're going to break the news of why Nicki decided to leave Diddy as her manager. In a live stream with Soldier Boy, Nikki dropped the bomb and hinted to the whole Diddy and Meek Mill's alleged relationship. Diddy having a go on Nikki's ex? The Hollywood drama has reached a new low. Jaguar Wright is so invested in the, in the case and is sure that Nikki leaked the audio of Meek begging for his life while being toyed by Diddy, and her team had paid one of Diddy's bodyguards in her attempt to not having anything linking this audio back to her. In one of Nikki's attempts to get back at Meek, she leaked that audio and wasn't going to mention anything about Diddy, but might as well if he's under that spotlight, right? Do you think it's a lot of undercover brothers in the industry? <laughs> uh, oh no, Queen. We don't know nothing about undercovers. Oh no. We don't know about that. Okay. Because uh, I do. You said what? Oh, I said I do. <laughs> but um, my thing is, why why is it that so, Boy, do you think that black men are out here making black women feel like the queens they should feel? So, Soldier Boy, what's up? Who, who was on Twitter first, me or you? Who was on Twitter first, me or you? Nikki. I made, I made your Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's smiling. Oh. Look, she's smiling. <laughs> Stop, you made my Twitter? Uh -huh. I made your Twitter, Nikki. I made your Twitter. I, I don't remember that because I felt like I was, I, I feel like I still was in Queens when I made my Twitter. In New York. I don't know where you was at, but you had a, it was, you know what happened? You had a fake page that was writing me. And I hit you up and I'm like, yo, Nikki, is this you on Twitter writing me? And you was like, no, I don't even got no Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you had you had fake pages. I think you was the first, the first with a fake fence hidden 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 people up. <laughs> Once again, we find Nikki at the center of the spotlight. She couldn't help but get involved. She and Meek go way back. These two hot bachelors dated two years from 2015 to 2017, and the breakup wasn't any less messy. So you know, she would not miss a chance to have it back at him. These two have spent a while in a lyrical battle, dropping shade and spitting bars, and fans keep on going crazy about that. Despite the efforts and the money spent in hiding that audio, people still believe in its credibility.
Back to the whole feud with Diddy. What specifically went wrong between these two titans of the industry then? Nikki didn't hold back when she expressed how annoyed she was with Diddy for allegedly meddling with her professional path. It appears that the disagreement was complex and intensely personal, raging from reported attempts to control her sound to heated contract negotiations. You're probably thinking to yourself, why is Nikki involved in this whole drama and how does that relate? It all started in a claim that Diddy has a bunch of boy toys that he frequently hangs out with for favors in return, hinting to Meek and Usher. 73 pages of legal tea spilling. This time, Meek's gotten himself into some real trouble, but we're not done here. Jaguar even says that Nikki was scared of Diddy for the longest time I'm fearing Diddy would come for her. He's Philly though, Jay. He's Philly. He, no f <laughs> he meek milk. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, he meek milk. I ain't calling him milk no more. That's milk. That's meek milk. Add it to the honeycomb. You got a, you got a meal. So you believe the Dwayne Martin story? That that could have happened? Of course. Happened. Everybody know that shit. Everybody knew they was f***ing, just ain't nobody know Dwayne was folding him over like that, taking him to Panatown. And all these black f***ers running around marrying these f***ers. Sitting there convincing other women to go chase a fag. Go get you, yeah. Look at my it isn't he? Can you imagine if he's been Told the truth about their relationships and then fucking milk running the fuck around about expensive pain now, in his ass. Wait, this is Philly you're talking about now. Wait a minute, Jack. Fuck me. Wait a minute. He's a fucking fruit loop. He did he five. This is Philly. He's a deep fried period. <laughs> he did he five. He did he fried. He the did he do I bop. Fuck me. Real rap. You think that audio that they put out was real? Yeah, that was f him. F Nikki put that out to hair. That, that Nikki recorded that at the freak off in the Calabasas. Man. She been waiting to drop that shit on Meek. Oh. She just wasn't going to tell nobody it was Diddy. But now that Diddy out there, why not? So then who's the guy who's claiming he recorded it? Oh, the somebody bouncer. that got paid? Yeah, he said, like, I was yeah, standing somebody outside the that door. Got paid. Yeah. The first woman to uncover the homo thugs. She talking about Diddy. That's what these down low b was called when Wendy first started talking about it in the 90s, the homo thug. So you hear about stories of Diddy, like, shooting people, yeah. blowing up cars. Yeah. Is he this gangster that, behind the scenes, that ever, is that him? Or is that Shout around? out to Wendy Williams. Meek Mill tweeted, That's why I always come around all these industry and with my real friends. You never catch me around anybody from the industry alone. You can't even hold a convo without my dog. Stepping in the room, it's been that way. I can't tell y'all. Find out I'm the illest in this shit. In another tweet he said, I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or molly. Nobody won't even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man or what would ever approach me about gay activity and the whole place don't get flipped. Woke up seeing this on every blog like they know I'm coming, lol. Meek even threw some shade at Diddy saying he only ever hangs out with his friends and never hangs out with producers alone. Saying he's from Philly, he doesn't do drugs and no one would be able to even approach him with such accusations. Meek isn't the only one trying to squash these rumors. Diddy's lawyer is working around the clock to get rid of this $30 million lawsuit. Anyway, so Nikki even came clean about Diddy trying to make her one of his freaky assets and his attempt at pimping her. And honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if this wasn't his first time, would you? Not only did Nikki accuse Diddy of pimping her, but she spilled the pot on him pimping out other artists such as Justin Bieber to other males in the industry. She says their relationship goes beyond just work and claims Diddy has been exploiting Bieber. Hello? Someone please call Haley. This wasn't a one-time thing. Nikki says it has been a reoccurring pattern for a lot of young men in the industry. It appears that these young men have not been doing this willingly, and although fans tried to brush those as just cocaine in the video, some still think it was another type of white stuff that Justin was sweeping off. LOL. Usher. They talk about his. Usher, I'm tired of Usher. Oh. Goofy bitch. Oh. 
got your asshole ripped open and the only thing you, it inspired was loyalty? They ripped your ass open. Gene didn't say it. He said, check the records at the hospital. I'm saying it. You got your ass ripped open. Then you take Justin Bieber from Lily White, Canada and take him to the flavor of fuck off the kitty edition. Get his ass ripped open. Now everything's coming out. And the first thing you do is run the Bali with another kitty right who works with the man, L.A. Reed, that sent you to the Diddy flavor freak off. Not the flavor. <laughs> now you got Justin Bieber breaking up relationships and shit. Suck Odell Beckham dick at the club and the next thing you know, he don't even want Kim no more. Did Nikki also admit that Diddy paid her $100 million to beg him? Diddy's life keeps on getting crazier. This man doesn't take a break. How many more female artists are you going to pay, Diddy? Hashtag Kim was not enough, I guess. But wait, did the black Barbie also do it? And by the way, Kim, unfollowing Diddy on Instagram on the day all those accusations came in won't hide the fact that you guys have Nessie written all over you. Let's check this out, y'all. I'm in a super mystical f now. Today is the second born day for Kim Porter. This is the day that she passed. And I'm just like in my backyard and I'm giving thanks for the time, the time that I had with her, you know what I'm saying? And today I'm gonna share with y'all a little bit of the story because it's a true black love story and it's real, you know what I'm saying? And um. I know a lot of people you are going through grief right now. And man, I ain't think I was going to ever get up, ever be at this point today. But through the glory of God, I'm here. And I'm a better man for it. And you know something? We ain't on our time. We on God's time. Yeah. More to come. At least if you in the ATL and a nigga doing drugs in the ATL, the nigga at least excuse himself go to the bathroom or some shit. Niggas in Hollywood just do the drugs right in front of you and act like ain't shit happened. You in the middle of a goddamn meeting. They, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the movie with you and then we're gonna, we're gonna go back. <laughs> Nigga, did you know that I can see you? <laughs> Nigga, you right there, it's on your nose. Motherfuckers be gay in Hollywood, you never fucking expected. They be having these big ass mansion parties and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party. And then it's a separate party in the little rooms. I ain't been famous that goddamn long. I'm excited in a motherfucker to be at the mansion party. And you be looking in all the goddamn rooms and you fuck around and look in the wrong room and shit.
Nick, come here, come here. Is that two niggas kissing? Is one of them niggas Professor Obi? He came out the closet, he came out the closet. Moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn <laughs> some- Flavor Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're gonna go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna- In the 90s, do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Is there, however, any chance of reconciliation amid the drama? It's hard to know. Even though Nicki Minaj hasn't completely ruled out the chance of getting back together with Diddy as her manager in the future, it's obvious that their relationship is damaged and that the trust has been lost. Will these two music industry titans put their differences behind them and move on? Only time will tell. Folks, there you have it. Nicki Minaj's decision to come out about her feud with Diddy has given us a lot to discuss. What are your thoughts on Nicki's disclosures? Do you think there's a possibility of making amends? Or is the conflict going to continue to rage on? Share your opinions with us in the comments section below for you to catch the next C session with us. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel and hit that small bell button. Catch you later, besties. Bye bye.